Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Fog Server. I'll be using the recommended settings from frogproject.org website. So let's begin. Open up your virtual machine and click on New. Name your server, in this case, Fog Server. I'll save it in a different location other than the default. I have a SSD for that. Under type, select Linux version Debian 64 bit and click on Next. And here you can use one gig, but since I have enough memory, I'll use two. Create a virtual hard disk now. VDI, dynamically allocated. Okay, um, I'll increase the uh, virtual hard disk to 80 gigs instead of eight. And then click on create to create your virtual machine. Okay, now go to settings, system, and I'm not going to use floppy. We're not going to use floppy and enable EFI. Then click on processor. And here add another processor. And enable PAE and X. Then storage. Click on the empty disk. And select the Debian uh, 64 ISO. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can download it. I'm not going to use any audio and then network. I'm going to bridge the network so we can assign an IP within my network. Okay, once done, click on OK and start. Oh, very simple. Now, just because this is a uh, tutorial doesn't mean that it won't work on a real environment. It will work. Okay, I'll select the graphical install. Here it automatically selected my language, so English. I'm in the US and American English. Very simple. Now you can use this uh, virtual machine in a variety of locations, but I, honestly, I'm not going to go through them. <laughs> I'll select the host name to be Fox server. I have no domain name. If you, if you have one, then add it. Okay. Let's select, uh, let's create a password for root. Okay, enter a new user. I'll name this user Fog Admin. Yep. Continue. And then add a password for the for the uh, Fog Admin account. My time zone is Eastern Time. Okay, partitioning method, use entire disk. And again here, select the disk and click on continue. Partition is scheme, alpha also one partition. And then finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Okay, confirm your changes, continue. This will take a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, configure the package manager. Nope. Uh, archive mirror. Select default. And yep, default. I have no HTTP proxy. Remember, in case you have one, then add it. Okay, popularity contest. Nope. Here, I'm not going to use a, a desktop environment. I'll occupy too much space. I'm not going to use this as a print server. I will use SSH server and standard system utilities. Now, once done, click on Finish to reboot. Upon reboot, let's log in with that uh, Fog Admin. And to run a uh, command as root, let's type su space dash and enter the root password. Now, the first thing we need to do is assign a static IP address to our fog server. So, so run an IPA. If you notice here, the uh, IP address given to my fog server by DHCP is a dot 24. So let's do a nano ETC network interfaces and uh, create a static IP address. So here under DHCP, change it to a static. And then I'll assign a dot twenty five IP address, so you guys can see that it did apply. Uh, network is a class C. Gateway will be my router's IP address, and DNS again my router IP address, and then Google DNS. Now you don't have to add Google DNS. I just added there for this video tutorial. Once done, Control C, yes, Enter to save. Okay, now let's uh, restart our network uh, services. I'll do etc init.d forward slash networking restart. And if we're lucky, we have a static IP assigned. But as you can see, I'm not that lucky. So I'm going to do a reboot. And then again, run the IPA command so we can see if we have that static IP address assigned. And yes, there it is. That two, that twenty-five. Okay, now once you have a static IP address assigned, let's turn off our fog server and do a snapshot. Just in case in the process we mess up, we can go back to when we assign a static IP address to our virtual machine. So just add any name that you will remember. I'll put static IP ready fog server. You can put whatever works for you. Once done, click on OK. And again, let's start that uh, virtual machine. Okay, instead of me continuing on in the virtual machine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to access my fog server via SSH. And this allows me to copy and paste commands really easy. And I'll be putting in my new IP address, my newly assigned static IP address. So go ahead and log in. Again, fog admin password sudo space dash to run command as root and then root password okay here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the uh, fog uh, project 
website and then right click the tar.gz and select copy link. Okay, so I'll go back to my terminal here and do a wget. So I'll put there wget space and then paste that link. Hit enter. Okay, once downloaded, let's extract it. I'll do an ls to make sure it's there. And again, these commands are in the Fog Project website. You can copy them and paste them here. So I'll unzip it. Okay, once unzipped, I'll do an ls to make sure. Okay, so let's go into the bin directory. So cd space fog project dash one i eight four slash bin and here i'm i'm doing this ls it's not in the uh, fog project website just to make sure it is there and then to install do a dot forward slash install fog dot sh awesome now select two which is a debian based Linux. We're going to do a normal installation. Would you like to change the default network address? Nope. Set up router address for DHCP. Yes, it'll auto detect it. Uh, it'll auto detect the IP address of my router. So I'll hit enter. Would you like DHCP to handle DNS? Yes. And again, my router IP address. Uh, would you like to use Fox server as DHCP service? Nope. No language packs. Enable HTTPS is optional. It's in my network. I won't be accessing from externally, so I don't need it right now. Would you like to change the host name from Fox server? No, it stays like that. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yep. This can take quite some time. Okay. When you see this, then go to your uh, fog management by typing the IP address of your, of your fog server for slash fog for slash management just like you see it here and then click on enter click the big blue button install and or update now okay once done I'll minimize the window here and then go back to my SSH and hit enter to finish the installation. Once done, it uh, it'll provide us again with the uh, uh, server address and the default username and password. With that, we can log in to our Fox management. So let's open up the browser again. Click here to log in, and then use the default, which is Fog, and then password all lowercase once you log in the first thing you need to do is change the password for fog so go to users list all users fog change password and here assign a stronger password on my next video i'll show you guys how to capture and deploy the operating system for now thank you for watching the video my name is miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you